I take my boys camping all the time. We go motorbiking through the bush. And this is the dish that they really love me cooking. It's a one-pot meatballs with pasta. Fills them up and got plenty of meat in it. You love like it. That? I do. I can imagine you camping. You could, couldn't you? I can't, but I can. can. I just It makes me scared thinking about it. <laughs> now, I've got about six, 700 grams of beef mince there. I've put some dried chilli in here. I've got some oregano that mm -hmm. I've chopped up. I've got some parsley that I've chopped up as well and some chives in there and some breadcrumbs, That's a cup it. of breadcrumbs, and you're going to crack that egg in there Can and you? some garlic cloves. Oh. Just microplane some garlic in there and that'll be nice and pureed so it goes all the way through it. I'm going to pop some salt in there because salt loves meat. And meat loves salt. I can't say it enough. It's one of my favourite I know. Sayings. I was going to say I haven't heard it for a while, but no, that would be lying. Yep, you, you hear that it all the time. You, you wake up in the morning, it's, oh, it's, it's like hear. a nightmare. Right. There we go. Now, I've got some pepper in there as well. Oh. Just oh. Bit of a chunk of garlic in there. I'll, I'll get it out, don't worry. It might be like a little garlic surprise, it will, you know. Inside of a meatball. We'll put that inside the meat, so it's raw on the inside. <laughs> it's just just cooked, and then you bite into it, and that'd be good because werewolves won't attack you at night time when you're camping. It's I like that. Idea. Plenty of romance on the camping trip. I can't imagine it being that romantic with three smelly boys in the tent. Nothing at all. So this is the best part with the meatballs. I like to mash them up with my hands. This is the easiest way of doing it. That mm -hmm. way you get all these ingredients mixed up beautifully. This is exactly how I make it. Lots of herbs. Really? Garlic. That bends you, doesn't it? Okay. It's like, oh my gosh. Now, Priya, I like the meatballs to be about sort of squash ball size. Mm -hmm. And you can make them any size you want. Look at that. That's a good one, isn't it? Perfect. All right, so I'm going to pop this into the pan here and get it sizzling away. Now, I'm going to start rolling a couple of these and you'll roll a couple as well. And we're going to put them straight into the pan to get them browning off nicely. Nice. And while they're sort of browning off, I'll just grab a little bit of olive oil, pop that into the pan here like this. We'll roll up the rest of these meatballs and we'll pop them in the pan and then we'll show you how to finish this off. Perfect. OK, Pri, you can see the meatballs have been browned off beautifully. I'm going to add some butter in here because that's what makes everything taste better. And I've got some onion, some garlic and a little bit more chilli. We like it spicy in our house. Oh. And I like to sweat it out. So a lot of chilli in there. Spicy meatballs. Exactly. There you go. That's what they should be. It's nice and spicy. Onion and garlic goes in there with the butter. I'll also grab these capsicums here. And you nice. can put some zucchini in here. I or do. Carrot in here if you wanted to. Great. Any other vegetable you want oh, to. Wow. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to put the okay. capsicum in there. You can see it's starting to soften up nicely there. We're going to add some red wine to here. Red wine gives it a lovely, Beautiful. luscious flavour. And some stock. Nice. Because we're cooking a pasta dish in the pot, we need something for that pasta to absorb. Yep. And the liquid I'm putting in here, the stock and the wine, is what the pasta absorbs. Now, you could put water in here if you wanted to. If you were camping and, you know, you could stroll down to the stream and oh. lift the water out of the uh, out of that cool stream and then bring that up to the bowl and like use Aphrodite. that. Like We rough it. We don't take wow. anything. We take a shovel and a roll of toilet paper and oh, wow. that's it. There's no toilets, no bathrooms, nothing. We rough okay. it. Okay. So what we're... are you cooking this in, in a cast iron thing or something? I take a... a it's like a a Dutch oven and you can cook anything in a Dutch oven. You can imagine this being cooked away beautifully in a yeah. Dutch oven. Now, I'm talking about a Dutch oven, which is a big cast iron pot with a lid on it, not the one you do with the blanket over the top of your loved one. So that's not the one we want to do. Now, I'm also going to get some tomato passata and put it in here to get everything cooking up beautifully nice. and throw that in there like that. Now. You can see it's already come up to the ball, and that's what I'm looking for. You know, it's just starting to simmer in the middle here, and that's when I add the pasta. So if you can pass me that pasta okay, over there. Beautiful. And while you're passing me that pasta, I'll put the rest of the oregano in there. You can see it looks like a really thin sauce. Yeah, it'll cook down. Exactly. Yep. I could let it go for 10, 15 minutes and then throw the pasta in it, but you can imagine we're camping, we've just, covered, we've just got off our motorbikes, the kids are hungry and you want to feed them fast. So this comes together really, really quickly. And I'm going to put the rigatoni in here. I love rigatoni. Yeah. It cooks beautifully in this type of way because the sauce gets inside it and it cooks really, really Really easily. Push it all the way down there like that with the back of the spoon. You can see that's coming up to the boil already. Then all you need to do is pop the lid on and everything will cook beautifully, nice and slowly. Select low temperature and then off you go. OK, Priya, have a look at that. Beautiful. Looks good, doesn't it? It does, and all the pasta's absorbed all that liquid. Yeah, it's, it's got a lovely sauce to it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put some more passata in there or some tomato paste. You can do this any way you want, but I like it like that. You've got plenty of sauce in there. 
Lots of pasta yeah. and lots of meatballs. Let me pop a couple of those on there like that. Lovely. Looking great. Looking some... wonderful. Bit of cheese. Yes, loaded there up with go. some cheese. You've got to have cheese on you pasta. Do. You do. I'm going to go quite a lot here. Because we're think... camping. I'm envisioning us out there in the wilderness. Um, you need all the, all the... lion walking past the tent. <laughs> Lions or drop bears. We have drop bears in Australia. Very dangerous creatures, Yeah, I used actually. to believe that stuff. Now, just cut that in the middle. You can see that mm, meatballs cooked beautiful. all the way through really quickly. As you can see, it basically takes the same amount of time as pasta cooking to be able to cook those meatballs all the way through and make the sauce nice and rich. Beautiful. That was a very hot meatball. I oh, got through it, though. Packed with herbs, packed with flavour. I love it. This is a dish that I would make. I love a one pot, you know that. This is a fantastic family meal. You don't need to go camping to make this. You can no. do it at home. Easy peasy. But we should go camping. Let's go camping. Oh, my goodness. Come on. What am I talking myself into? Come on. Okay.